All right, what's up everyone? Happy Monday, today's Monday I believe. I have uh, been rocking and rolling since about 4.30 this morning and it's about time to call it a break for part of the afternoon, take the kids to cheer practice, do that whole thing. So kind of jamming through some of the last things that I need to get really, really accomplished before I cut out. Just for a little bit, of course, then I'll be sitting in my truck and I'll be back working because we have huge ambitions. We've got a big goal in front of us, building to 100 million in a year. So. All right, here we go. Uh, today we kicked off with a couple appointment setters. So we got some new uh, staff members up and rocking. Just started. We got everything set up. You know, got their accounts set up. Got their, you know, all those details, the legal stuff, all the all the payroll type stuff. Got all that done. Got them into our systems. Got their email set up. We've got lead lists, so they are now able to call and and do that and get that rolling. We just rolled out and kicked off a campaign. So we've got our outreach campaign going on, and then I have been focusing on setting up partnerships and setting up uh, channel partners and getting getting really, really connected to every single person that I can possibly think of. I, I created my list of everybody that I want to partner with and try and develop so that we could grab their clients as clients for us. And then we'll kind of do some sort of a profit share. So that's what I've been working on. Most of today wrote a whole bunch of content that I thought needed some improvements. So we fixed that, got a couple things fixed up on the website, stuff that just, you know, kind of got missed through the shuffle, optimized some pages. Uh, let's see what else we get done. And so we're kind of rocking. The big update that I wanted to share was that we got appointment setters up and going. So that is fantastic. We've still got some more in the pipeline that I need to interview. I need to get probably at least five more hired so that we can just really, really, really grow this out. And that's kind of another focus that I'll have tomorrow. I'm going to hit that hard again. Let's see what else. Oh, some legal stuff dealing with attorneys and making sure that our contracts are updated, dialed, and, and we're set with those things. We've got payment processing systems all dialed so that everything's under the right entity and, and all those pieces. And let's see, still rocking the cat, not doing any more swag yet, trying to evaluate. One of the things that we did do, this was actually kind of dumb. I started maneuvering pricing and I was trying to figure out how do we kind of really, really tap into a higher end of the market and not really deal with kind of low end people who are trying to get in on a, on a tight budget. I had a guy reach out specifically actually talking about pricing and I actually just turned him away because it was, you know, if, if, if the difference between, you know, what he was looking at versus what we were going to offer and there's like a $200 difference or a $300 difference, it's like, I, I don't want to have that conversation. We want to get to where people are very, very confident in their budget and they can, they have the affordability to spend. So that's going to partly go with target market. This person found us organically. And so that's kind of a, a tough thing. You know, they just reached out asking questions about pricing, why we're more expensive than another company. And, and so then I realized like, you know, I probably should raise the price even more because we're still getting in people who are kind of okay with that lower end price. So that email came through, I think just before the weekend hit. And then I increased prices just before the weekend. I kind of left them sitting there and I was, I was kind of just waiting to see what would happen. And, and then I was like, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, the price didn't feel right. And so I've been messing with that, which caused me to have to mess with some, some other stuff. Anyway, all in all, we got that figured out today. So that's good news. But I believe in setting our price high enough to where we differentiate ourselves in a big way. And I want to really, really drive on the, on the value that we're creating that's different than another service that somebody might be able to grab. And, you know, like there's other people running similar products. However, ours just happens to have some components that other people aren't layering into it. So we have a far higher, in my opinion, quality in what we're doing. It's just different. It's probably for a higher price point. So with that, that's fine. I want people who are looking for, you know, kind of cheap to go one way and then for us to go another. Just like in the virtual assistant world in my other company, we are higher priced than a lot of companies. And, but we also end up getting a, a lot longer tenure, right? We get people who stay for five years, 10 years. What were we at? Nine. Nine, nine years. So that's what I would have liked to have more of is less kind of lower end, more higher end clients. So, oh, the other thing we did this morning, which was fantastic, was I met with my CMO, contract CMO, who is working with us and she's actually really supporting us with multiple companies, but just dialed into Visitor Match and is setting up all of our ad campaigns. And so we came up with some really, really cool ideas on what we're going to be doing with just some of our storytelling and, and how we're going to, you know, kind of put this whole thing together. Really exciting stuff. We actually came up with some really kind of tricky ideas for uh, funnels and what we might do inside some of our pages there. So anyway, really cool stuff, lots going on. But as you can see, I mean, it is just a grind. It is an everyday thing. Push, 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 
get as much done as possible as fast as possible. And I'll be able to take a break for about two hours and then I'll be sitting outside the gym while my daughters are at cheer practice and I'll be on my computer in my truck using the truck Wi-Fi and trying to grind out just the last bits of the day. And then I'll come home and kind of call it quits. But so that's that. That's kind of the life right now. It's not that exciting. I don't have anything to show you yet. Hopefully within the next like two days, I'll actually have some stuff to show you and that'll be exciting. So anyway, there's a quick update. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys soon.